<laughs> I, uh, I have a, a friend that's a, a black vampire. <laughs> I do. He's black, he's a vampire. And I ask him questions about his life, you know? I'm like, do you suntan? Do you, uh, can you sunburn? You know? I'm like, can you can you sunburn? You know? Are you are you just tan or are you just can I touch your hair? <laughs> Ask some questions about his life, you know? Is your dick bigger than most people's? Is this he's a black vampire? <laughs> Told you I had hack jokes. <laughs> Is he friends with the werewolf? Fuck it. I don't need headphones. No one can record a fucking podcast without headphones in. Just trust, it sounds fine. It's probably gonna be fine. Welcome to the Jordan Lear program. I <laughs> am high. I watched Twilight. I watched all the fucking movies, man. I watched all the fucking movies. I even read the book years ago, the first one. I watched the Twilight Saga, baby. Like I'm spying on the enemy, figuring out the cheat codes. I'm like, dude, this Edward Cullen guy made the girls' pussies wet between like 2000 and whenever to end in 2012. When did this series happen? I should have looked this up before I started this entire podcast. <laughs> I don't know, like 2006 the first movie came out. The last one came out in like 2011. Hold on. I, I need to quit doing drugs for a second. One more. One more. Twilight. Do vampires get high? Twilight changes the mythology. They can walk around in fucking sunlight now. They just glitter. <laughs> can't can't stab them in the heart. That won't kill them. You gotta to kill a vampire. You gotta rip off the limbs and light the body on fire. <laughs> it's pretty okay. This is some fucking teen beat romance shit, and I'm gonna get into the genius of Twilight and exactly why all the pussies do get wet because there is a reason and it works worked on mine too but this is a pretty hellacious franchise in terms of uh violence and just badass shit you know like just the sheer ripping off the heads not to mention the mauling of the fucking vampires when they go at it you know not to mention later on when bella's given birth to their baby spoiler alert Fucking Edward's got to do give her a C-section himself. No surgical tools. I'm using my mouth. Arr, I'm getting that baby out of there. <laughs> get it out so Jacob can fuck it. <laughs> Let's get it out. This is a crazy fucking shit. Okay, so here's the thing. The girls love this shit, you know. The guys love it too. I remember reading the book back and then I was like, it's a good romance story. And it's the whole thing. It's because he's a vampire. He can kill her. He wants to kill her. He's attracted to her blood, okay? And he's in love with her, okay? So you take me to the fucking crazy acting in this movie between Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, okay? Especially the first one. You got Case Stu breathing the entire time. Just... <laughs> doing that shit and then you got bobby pattinson edward cullen over in the corner just because he's got like an erection he's holding down it's a it's like it's the world's fucking craziest craziest erection ever and he's got to hold it down i've got to hold this phone up you should be way more prepared if you're going to do this shit He's got to hold that dick down, okay? And he's like, I want to fuck you. I want to kill you. I want to fuck you. I want to fucking kill you. And she's like, oh, my God. Why is this guy that's way hotter than me want to fuck me? Oh, my God. Does he want to kill me? It's fucking... Because, girl, man, that's the thing. All girls, they're all into, like, serial killer shit, too. And uh, that's part of it. There's some threat. There's something going on there, ladies. There's something. Men, I don't know. It's weird. Um, so they're going at it. Forbidden love. You know what gets me? Okay, so I always knew that it was supposed to be Team Edward, Team Jacob, okay? And I wasn't into these movies, not the sequels at least, or anything, and I didn't read on. So I never knew 
All right. It's not just she's got one guy she loves. There's two. But in the movies, there's really not. You know, they try to tell you, you know, Jacob likes her. But, dude, you're never rooting for Jacob in this movie. Never in the franchise. Ever. She never even, like, acts like she likes the motherfucker. You know? You were never... She's... He's... And he's... I don't dig the acting Lautner's given, and I don't know if it's his fault. I think it is, I, but I think the direction they went into, not cool. It's like they made him just this whiny mm, guy. Yeah, mm, Bella, yeah. Fuck off, man. But that shit between Bobby and her is pretty badass. Uh, yeah, that's the vampire love. I love the mythology, like I said. You know, the shit, how they... They uh, they can go out in the day, you know. They just glisten. They're just super powered. They they never sleep. There's no sleeping in coffins during the day. They just never sleep. They're just bad. They're just the coolest motherfuckers ever. They wear clothes from Express for Men. <laughs> Basically, they. <laughs> I was saying they look like they choose the most expensive shit at Express too. Not that twenty five dollar shirts. They're getting like the forty dollar shirts at Express for Men. You know what I mean? Back in the day. Fucking getting them good express slacks on. So there's a whole fucking crew of them. One of the dudes, the guy that plays uh, Jasper, I believe his name, Jackson Rathbone, I went, me and him shared an acting teacher. We didn't attend the class at the same time, but uh, Jerry fucking, Jeremiah Comey taught this guy years ago. That was his, that was the entry. He's like, yo, I talked Jackson. And I was like, who's Jackson? He goes, you know, Jasper, I, don't know, I didn't know at the time. But now I do. I saw his band too. He's got a band called 100 Monkeys. So, little tidbit that no one cares about but me. Anna Kendrick was in this shit, I guess. It's funny seeing, you know, because she's like blown up since then, you know. Give you a little pitch perfect career after that. Um, Bryce Dallas Howard. She shows, she replaces somebody in like the second or third movie, okay. She plays this like redheaded vampire. I don't have to say she's redheaded because she's redheaded. But that's why, because the original one was redheaded. So, like, oh, we can do an easy switch with... You know, BDH, put her in some heels running from a dinosaur. <laughs> so I didn't like that. I was like, this is some fucking star power. You know, she's like, fuck this shit. My dad is Opie. I get to be in this big hit franchise now. Put me in. Because I guess she turned the role down in the first movie. What She didn't think it was cool enough. She came around to it. I don't know. What else am I getting over here? I'm going to get to the rest of the shit, people. Is there any actors that are like of note jackson anna kendrick bd jacob yeah you know everyone's like jacob's jacked but i'm like to me he's not that jacked i mean granted you know he's more muscular than i am i just put out a little sketch where i play jacob i'm not fucking jacked like him but it's like he's not someone real like everyone every actor kind of looks that jacked now you know, we all figured out intermittent fasting is the fucking key, man. You didn't need to fucking work out so hard. You can look ripped anyways. Um, all right, so what's my, so what, what are my favorite fucking movies? Let me, let me talk through this, okay? I like the first one the most, probably, overall. It's just cool. You're really hitting him with the, holding down my boner. I want to eat her. I want to fuck her and shit. And uh, that's cool. They've got this crazy baseball scene in there where the vampires play baseball because they're like, yeah, of course, we love playing baseball. And they're just, they hit home runs, but they're so fast to go out and catch them and shit. It's really ridiculous. A lot of the visual effects in this whole franchise are pretty silly. I kind of dig it, though. I've heard Robert Pattinson thought the movies were kind of shitty, you know? Which is funny for him to just say, even if he feels that way. <laughs> Respect. For me, though, he's like doing so much with that character. Because if you are really, if you are a fucking mythological vampire and you're in pain because you're in love, you're starting to feel a soul erupt from you, and you want to kill her because it takes that pussy, it tastes so good. I want to <laughs> suck it all out of there, baby. If you had all that, that's how he would act, though. So I fucking think Robert Hattinson shit is genius, okay? I think I've fucking slobbed on the Bobby Pop, you know. I. I think he's a good actor, and I think he's going to be the best Batman ever. Anyways, that's the truth. So I like the first one, all the shit, you know. Oh, I must say the dad her, plays her dad in this. He's supposed to be more of a drunk, I think. And he seems like a pretty well-put-together dude, which I don't like, because I remember reading the first movie, not, yeah, the book, the first book, and it says he drinks a lot. 
And I pictured Randy Quaid from not another teen movie, you know. Like, oh, I won't pick you up from school later, honey. I'm going to the bar. And she's like, oh, that's good. Don't drunk drive. And he's like, oh, I'll be driving. I'll just be too shit-faced to pick you up. You guys remember that movie? That was a good movie. Randy Quaid. He should he just got Randy Quaid to be this. We need to remake this fucking series with Randy Quaid as Bella's dad, okay? So I like the first movie the most. I like the last movie second most because they have a they got a crazy fight ending with all the werewolves teaming up and all the fucking vampires teaming up to take on these other old school vampires that don't like wearing the Express for Men shit. And it's like this big, epic, ripping heads off battle. Dogs dying. Werewolves. But, you know, you know, they get you with the whimpers. And, uh, but then at the end, it turns into a Dallas ending. You know, if you've seen the show Dallas, where it's all a dream. Because a bunch of people died that you gave a fuck about. And one of the vampires goes, oh, no, that was all a vision. We shouldn't fight. Because that'll get fucked up if we do. And they don't do it. And you're like, oh, my God, everyone. It's happy ending. We get to see a bad. I don't know. I did kind of like that. I like Breaking Dawn 1 third most. Now, Breaking Dawn 1 starts out like kind of a piece of shit. It starts out like they're on honeymoon. It's like it feels like The Bachelor. It's like just a montage of them doing. I don't know. It's dumb. Kind of in a good way. But it ends in a horror movie. It ends in her giving birth. The him having to eat her uterus out and give her a C-section to save the fucking baby, man. And on the way there, on the, on the way there, fucking Bella, case two, she gets ugly, man. And props to her for doing that because most actresses, actors, whatever, I don't think you like to look bad. Even if the character calls for you to look like shit, man, she looked frail and shitty as she was about to give the baby out because I think the baby was like taking all her blood, it was taking all her energy, and her like bones snap. Crack, crack, ugh. And you're like, dude, this was fucking Love Island whenever we started this movie. So props to that. It's Breaking Dawn 1 started shitty, but it ended fucking. <laughs> I was ready for Breaking Dawn 2. I'll tell you that. Um... And then New Moon and Eclipse, I, like, straight up don't remember what was happening. Like, I just remember, I think that was, like, the Taylor Lautner acting shit. That was the Taylor Lautner acting display. Like, those two movies. A lot of nothing happens. You know, I like the werewolf mythology and shit. It, yeah, I, I, I love it, actually. But it's, I don't know. It wasn't much story to me that developed. I think they wanted, like, they told the old vampires that didn't want to wear the express clothes that bella they were gonna turn bella into a vampire they're like hey you better turn her into a vampire and they're like okay and then they just like they left and they didn't i'm like what's the fucking i don't know and they just it those could have been killer movies if they fucking made you really root for jacob if they really were like oh man what's it gonna be the tan dude or the fucking vampire guy that wants to suck my pussy blood you know Next time, because they'll remake it one day. And like all books, I always, I always cheer for these books to be remade in uh, episodic form, in a good, good way too. Man, the whole thing with Jacob wanting to bang her kid from the start, not cool. <laughs> I don't know. You could what? I wish they maybe would have like, not just made it so romantic right away that they were going to be together forever, made it just that, you know, like, there was some sort of bond, like, I don't know, he protected or something. But I don't want to need any romance going on until, like, she looks, like, of age, please. Um, it was weird, because he, like, when she was a kid, he was, like, babysitting her in all those movies, like, following her around, like, he was never not around her, and I'm like, Ugh. I don't Ugh, it made me make the faces that like Edward makes at Bella when he likes her. You know, I'm like, I can't. Want no, it's nice, bad. Whatever, dude. Also, whenever he, <laughs> he eats her uterus and goes for the C-section, he uh, he stabs a fucking needle in her heart full of his venom to revive her. 
<laughs> and it's like, wow, you really made Pulp Fiction look like some pussy ass shit there, didn't you? <laughs> Waka! Frail bones. <laughs> Ugly. F- Ugh. I gotta go for that. I don't know. That was cool watching her hunt, too, and mountain climb. Fuck yeah. Find you a girl who likes to hunt. She goes and fucking ganks that deer. Good on you, Bella. Ugly breakup. Movies ranked. You know, I watched it. I watched... I thought... And I... You know what? I thought it was pretty good. And I thought Robert Pattinson is amazing in it. I thought his acting is act actually genius. You know. Very entertaining movies. Great addition to the vampire lore. Uh... Jacob, wait till she's 18, bro. Or 21. Come on, let's call it what it is. Let's be adults. <laughs> the baby, Bella and Edward, their baby is born on September 11th. And so am I. <laughs> it's dumb that I know the date, but I looked it up and it... You know, so... We're both Virgos, baby! Hey, I have plenty of I have jokes. I have a piece of paper. Shut up! Listen, the audience, okay? Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, I get it, you're animals. We'll fucking tame it, I get it, okay. I have more hack jokes. I have a plan, I'm recording. This isn't about you guys. This isn't about you. It's about me. Like jokes, they're Halloween themed. We have one more week left. I have to get my video, I'm videotaping. I'm trying to do something with my life. I'm trying to do something. Halloween, taking advantage. You guys are getting drunk, I am too. Uh. <laughs>